But why do these charged particles get trapped in the magnetic field lines? Why are they forced to go along the field lines? That's the piece that we need to talk about. And we're going to talk about that with this demo. I'm going to get all the magnets away. What I have here is a cathode ray tube, and it's essentially an old TV. This is the way TVs were when I was alive, okay? That's why they were so fat, is because we had uh, an electron gun in the back. What it was is just a very negative terminal. We call it a cathode. And then up towards you in the living room, there was a positive uh, terminal called an anode. <laughs> and if you get the voltage between those big enough, you can actually rip electrons off the cathode and toward, have them sent towards the anode. Now you'll notice that that anode is offset. Okay? Now the reason for that is that you rip off the electrons, you send them in the direction of the anode, but then just like a bullfighter, it's ole! And the electron goes right past. Okay, and the electron hits this screen, which is painted with a phosphorus material that glows when it's excited. Now on an old TV set, instead of just glowing green, we would have uh, dots that glowed red, green, and blue. And they would be in little triads all over the front of your TV. And this beam would sweep back and forth and excite those triads. Now, if I think of this beam, as starting here, racing past here, and going right towards you, okay, the question is, what direction is that beam going to be pushed when I bring a north pole up next to it? Let me show you what I mean. There's the beam of electrons coming out towards you. Electrons are negative, remember that negative electrons racing towards you. If I bring that north pole there, what direction is the magnetic field due to that north pole at the location of the beam? Remember, it comes out of a north and goes into a south. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to remember with bar magnets is that if you're near the north pole, it's away. If you're near the south pole, it's towards. And I'm, I'm drawing the magnetic field. Okay? Now, sure, it wraps around and goes back, but if I'm on the symmetry axis, it's just away from the north towards the south. So, if those are negative electrons, which way are they going to be pushed by the magnetic field? Is it going to be right, left, up, or down with your clicker? Right, left, up, or down? <laughs> okay! Why? Folks, if we all get this one right, I'd take us all to Hawaii. Yes, yes I will. Oh, but we didn't all get it right. Did we? Oh, but you're thinking, you're thinking, if it just weren't for these three people and these three people. Well, I'm here to tell you, those three people got it right. I really should take those three people to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> the answer is down. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. Okay, the beam is coming right towards you, sir. I bring in the North Pole. What did it do? Down. It went down. Can you see that over there? Down. See it over here? <laughs> that is way weird. Okay, here's the point I'm trying to make. The magnetic force is goofy. 
In the same way that torque in our study 205 was goofy. You remember that every time we tried to turn a steering, uh, a spinning wheel, it ended up going 90 degrees to the direction we were pushing. It seemed like everything was just completely weird. And that's why we left rotation till the end of 205. And that's why we leave magnetic, magnetic fields and forces to the end of 207. It's always going to be 90 degrees to the direction you expect it to be. Okay?